Hey everybody, it's gonna do a part two. Everybody came up with some really good ideas of different combinations of seat belts and um, autopilot and some other things. So I'll, I'll I'll try to hit some of those. So right now I'm sitting in the car with no seat belt on, and the car is not in drive. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. If I don't, I have to put my foot on the brake. So if I don't have my foot on the brake and try to put it in drive, it, it won't do anything. It's asking me to put my foot on the brake. So put my foot on the brake, I'll put it in drive. Okay, so it's in drive, I don't have my seatbelt on. And if I try to drive, and I try to use cruise control, it says, driver seatbelt unbuckled. So it won't let me put it in cruise control with my seatbelt unbuckled. So we've established that, let me put my seatbelt on. Okay, the seatbelt is on. I'm gonna come out to this road here that is a, gonna be a marked road. And what I wanted to show everybody was the difference between cruise control and autopilot. So to engage cruise control, you take the stock here, the one that you use for autopilot, and you push it down one time, okay? So by pushing it down one time, now cruise control's on, you can see it changed to blue here. Two times, that's autopilot. I'll turn, hit, hit my brake. But again, one time, cruise control turn here on this street okay so knowing that I've got my seatbelt on and if I drive I can engage cruise control on this unmarked road sorry I can't I can't get autopilot to work but I can do a single tap for cruise control so cruise controls on and this is just regular cruise control it'll I could smash into that car right there if I let the car go we're not gonna do that. So again, I can use cruise control on an unmarked road. I just did it. I'm gonna double tap. Nope, won't let me uh, use autopilot, but the single tap for cruise control, it works. I can adjust the speed. I set it at 16, set it at 12 whatever I want. So here, you can't do it from a stop. So you do have to be rolling with the seatbelt on, be rolling, single tap. And I have, I have cruise control on, so at 11 miles an hour. So speculating, what could have happened was the driver could have engaged a cruise control with the seat belt buckled behind him. And now I can lift my butt out of the seat. So right now my butt is out of the seat. I have no weight on the seat and the car's still moving, but this is just regular cruise control like you would have in any other car. Um, there's no steering, you know, it'll, it'll go right for this pole. I'll turn now. Um, so there's, there's just another piece there. So you can use regular cruise control in an unmarked road and possibly jump out of the seat. So did this man use cruise control, engage cruise control, regular cruise control, set the speed up to a high set speed and then climb into the back seat and the car just went straight into a tree? Um, I don't know. Let the investigators find out, but thought I'd uh, share that bit. Thanks.